good morning, good evening, good night. Welcome to the Dear Love Podcast. You can catch us at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, Listen Notes, Google Music, Podbean, all that good stuff. You already know how this go. Let's wait a minute. It's Christmas time. We finally made it. Another year. He used to it used to be a time where you couldn't wait for Christmas to get here. Now it's like, eh. I mean, is the thrill gone? I just feel like um due to new technology and ways of thinking, we've moved further away from what Christmas is about. So I'm not the happiest uh camper. When it comes to Christmas and not to be mean or anything, but Christmas is a time for family to, you know, come together. And, you know, if you enter the Bible, you you know what this day is about. But again, we don't treat it like that. Plus, I mean, I work on Christmas, so it is what it is, right? Like as we speak, I'm at work, <laughs> but I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's still a time to really think back what I use today for is not only about gifts, but to also think about moving forward. This is the last holiday of the year. The last holiday for you to change the way that you want to. What will you do different next Christmas? When that comes along, will you be the same person? See, this holiday to me is to celebrate everything that's happened over the year. Not only Jesus, not only being alive, not only having a job or whatever you have going on, but think about what was happening at this time last year. Are you in a better position? Are you mentally feeling a little bit better than before? That's the things that I take from Christmas because then... What, a week later, it's the new year. What are you taking into the new year? What aren't you taking into the new year? Are you a better person? And I don't like to say, like, did you get worse or things like that, but really think about what are you doing to change what happened last year? Hell, even if you did great. Now let's top that. Let's top being great now. So what do you take? going into next year what do you what are you leaving here and what are you taking with you some people say they don't want to go into the new year broke that means you're gonna be broke and all of those type of things but really think about what you're taking in the next year the people you taking in the people you leaving behind and the reasons why you're leaving them behind get all that off of your mind before the new year kick in so again christmas isn't just about that day again it's the last holiday of the year it's the last time to reminisce to me about being with family because again look at it at a different light this could be the last time you around those family members for another christmas so you really got to take in the whole aspect of what it is Hell, this could be the last time you see them because next week you might be a new person. You know how people do new year, new me. (laughs) So really break that down because some people I was with last year for Christmas, I won't be with this year. Some for the good, some for the bad. But those are the choices Hell, we live with. But what does this Christmas mean to you? It also means... Spend all of your money. (laughs) Spend it all, baby. Spend it all. And when you're done spending that, borrow some from your parents and your friends and your cousins and spend some more. We so worried about the price of things. It's crazy. Who cares what the price is? It's all about doing the best you can with what you have. Always find around this time, Again, we we try to compete with each other on what's the biggest thing to get or things like that. Well, you could really start 
looking at what's important and looking at the important things that they need and get a couple wants. You know, um, when I was growing up, I had all the game systems and things like that. It was all the things that I wanted, but I'm trying to like change that a little bit. I kind of spoiled my son the first, well, hell, he's still spoiled, <laughs> but I'm starting to think about things. His mom kind of taught me like, let's get him more things to learn and better himself. And she's right. You know, cause I wanted to get him like a Nintendo switch or something like that. He's five by the way. And he already has a cell phone. So, <laughs> I mean, what more can you get a five year old, you know, but she definitely, you know, is better at the um, shopping thing. Because like I said, I want to get him everything in the world as far as entertainment wise and she kind of keeps me grounded with the hey okay let's mix a little bit of that in with he needs this too hey he can also read a book <laughs> books aren't really as important as they used to be as far as the realm that i live in like the things that i see every day but reading was one of my favorite things so i guess i could see why i wouldn't mind him reading a book <laughs> it's not like he doesn't read books it's just you know christmas thing but he does need to read more books i know he he has his moments in class and stuff so maybe we could wait on nintendo switches and things like that but his brother has a ps4 so they could have at it and then here he got different things so i guess it works out for everybody but it's, it still feels weird being the person that buy the things now as far as for your kid. You know, I just always go back to all the stuff that I got as a kid and I got everything, man. And I guess I, I kind of wanted that for him too, which makes a lot of sense though, as far as the entertainment value, because when I was growing up, I wasn't the greatest in school. Hell, my best year was my senior year, and that was because I had to pass. So I kind of want him to grow up a little bit different as far as school. School is important, and I think about all the movies where they say, well, Dad, you didn't go to college. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. And it's kind of like, yeah, I want better for you. And it feels weird just being in that position now to tell someone else. You know, it don't have to be a direct son. It could be a nephew or a niece. Or, you know, or something like that. But it's like you showing them things that you didn't get to do. I just feel like it's weird after watching so many movies as a kid over the years. I remember when I was doing music, I had a superintendent at school that did music. And he said he rapped with so many people back in the day. And in my mind, I was just thinking, like, and you teach school? But, again, that was me just not knowing how things really work and... Now I can see why he do that. You know, I, I it, it, it's like showing the next generation the best way to do things. So, and hell, from what we see in the music industry ain't really, I mean, look at all these people lashing out and doing different things. Now Tory Lanez with the Interscope thing. So I guess music isn't really all that is super cracked up to be at the moment, but who knows, you know? Um, yeah, Christmas time, man. But take this time to really look at yourself and think of the things you want to do better. Look at your family, you know, and be there for each other and just be the best person you can. That's how you leave a great legacy, man. That's how you be the best person that you can be. It's not about the best stuff that you bought for Christmas or things like that. It's about your character and the person that you are. So take that in the next year if you don't take anything else just take being a new person and doing the right thing i ain't even gonna say be a new person but just add on to what you already are you still evolving as a human you still evolving as a man or a woman you know or a teenager whoever's listening you know um keep going take it in the next year and and be a better person Dear love, T. Shaw, I'm out of here.